video features Courtney, who I know through my affiliation with Studio Fontana. I'm going to further look at the topic of pale skin does not necessarily mean you have a cool skin undertone. Courtney has a warm skin undertone and I'm gonna walk you through why or how I arrived at that conclusion in this video. I'm also going to further advance the topic of last week where I touched upon covering colored hair for a color analysis is hugely important to getting accurate results. Stay tuned. I'm Carol Brelli of carolbrelli.com. As said in the opening, I'm going to walk through uh, my color analysis of Courtney uh, and how I have arrived at her being a fully warm skin undertone. And uh, if you are somebody who has pale skin, who thinks you have a cool uh, skin undertone, I, I'm really targeting this video towards you because I see on an ongoing basis the situation where people think because they have pale skin they have a cool skin undertone and I'm I'm going to continue to produce content fighting this myth because skin undertone is very different from skin tone and when you say the word pale skin you're talking about your skin tone. Um, uh, Courtney uh, may look cool and her hair color is cool in uh, the photos that I'm going to be showing on your screen, but it's colored hair. It is not her natural uh, hair color. I will also say that Courtney often models and uh, predominantly for hair colorists. And so when hair colorists are putting hair color on Courtney, they want to feature her hair color, not Courtney. Or a designer wants to feature their dress, not Courtney. And so um, you, you know, so they, they want all eyes on what she is wearing, not her. And, and so uh, that is why uh, you know, she may appear cool in these photos because her hair color is cool in, in many of the photos that she uh, has uh, participated in for her modeling career. Um, here is a picture of her in a swimsuit where you see, you know, she does definitely have a pale skin, meaning not tanned. Uh, I am going to walk through uh, her, uh, my analysis, sorry, of her in a virtual fashion, but I do personally uh, know uh, Courtney. I just don't have uh, fabrics uh, or pictures of her with fabrics against her. So, uh, so um, that, uh, that is why I'm walking through this virtually. Um, but so if you followed uh, my virtual color analysis three-step videos, um, here's a picture of Courtney's eye pattern that I would use as part of step one to inform the virtual analysis. Here is a picture of Courtney's natural hair color. So you see it's in the medium deep range. You might not necessarily see if it's warm or cool in this photo, but you can definitely see her natural hair color is in the medium to deep range. Uh, so first uh, step, uh, that I'm going to just speak about uh, is warm versus cool. Warm's on the left, cool's on the right. So, you know, maybe you're having trouble seeing this, but I definitely see the warm on the left is uh, better. You're more inclined to focus on Courtney. Her eyes are sparkling uh, and, and what have you. When I say sparkling, I mean it's in harmony uh, with the colors on your screen on the left. Uh, here's a picture of warm brown versus cool gray. I, I feel like the warm brown is, is more in harmony uh, with her. The gray is, is taking away uh, power from her and it appears dis disharmonious. Here is uh, warm orange versus cool pink. 
the warm orange is uh, more in harmony in my opinion and here is gold which is warm versus silver which is cool the silver is is taking uh, the focus away from Courtney and whereas uh, the uh, gold is adding the harmony factor to uh, Courtney so uh, if you're having trouble seeing that I totally get it uh, this may be your first rodeo uh, so here is the four primary uh, color seasons I have then uh, put on your screen here so let's say in the first sort of segment of this video you said oh I like the cool uh, coloring better on uh, Courtney what you're saying is that you like the bottom colors on your screen here better than the top colors the bottom colors on the bottom left is winter on the bottom right is summer top left is autumn top right is spring and so the the top colors are warm bottom colors are cool and and so when you are saying somebody has a cool skin undertone you're really saying you like the cool seasons against the person better than the warm seasons and in the next slide I've just circled the the season where ultimately Courtney leans to to hopefully uh, also help guide your eye um, and then if you're still having trouble seeing that on the left here is uh, a true autumn orange and on the right here is a true winter pink so uh, so uh, the orange on the left is warm the true winter pink on the right is cool uh, I definitely see the orange uh, which is the autumn orange adding more vibrancy to her and and the way reason why i chose to focus in on uh the true autumn versus true winter uh on this particular screen is because um her hair leans medium to deep naturally and so these would be the medium to deep uh seasons uh that i potentially may be focusing on for her um, and then I've thrown in the eye picture here so that you can see how the the true autumn orange would bring out uh, the vibrancy in her eye color and have them sparkle more. Um, the next slide is true autumn brown, which is warm versus true winter black. I definitely see the black on the right overpowering her. Love her in more of a brown. And so you know if that is why I like to take things one step further for those of you who think pale skin equals cool skin because you know again that's what you're really saying you're saying the cool color seasons on the bottom are better than the warm color seasons on the top against you or um, whoever you're looking at so um, I'm not doing a full color analysis in this video I'm primarily just addressing uh, warm versus cool and really targeting the statement pale skin equals cool skin undertone uh, because I continually to meet people who think this is the case and that definitely is not the case uh, also uh, I want to just go back to the uh, picture with uh, Courtney's hair covered it, it, you know removing the hair color which is her colored hair color out of the equation is key here because uh, people have a tendency to want to match what they're wearing to their hair color and, and that uh, in many cases would not add ideal vibrancy to somebody so if if we for instance had chosen to map Courtney's hair color uh, which is her colored hair color um, factor it into this equation we might have landed at her being say in the cool color season family or one of them which would not ultimately bring out her sparkles so not covering colored hair can also really influence a reading and so that's why I always take colored hair out of the equation I hope you have found this video useful have a lovely day